to show you what the presenter display looks like on an iPhone, which I think that is very important and very, very useful, I'm going to control the presentation that appears behind on my iPad. So first I need to go to my iPad and I need to enable the remote control. So for that, I'm going to tap on the tools icon, tap on presentation tools, and the last presentation tool in this list is allow remote control. So let me enable that. It says that no remotes were found. So let me go to my iPhone, tap the remote control from the presentation manager. My iPhone is already linked to my Mac, so I don't want to control my Mac. Rather, I'm going to tap on the devices button on the top left. I don't see my iPad, so let me go and add the device. And if you take a look at the iPad, now my phone shows up on the iPad. So from the iPad, I'm going to tap the link button so that I can link the iPad to the iPhone. It's trying to connect. We see that the numbers do match. So on the iPad, I'm going to tap confirm. Perfect. Now if you take a look at the phone, it says that it's going to be controlling something called iPad Blanco. That's the actual name of my iPad. Very creative name. Anyway, we have this humongous play button that if we tap on it on the phone, then the presentation starts on the iPad. So what you see on the right hand side is the iPad. And on the left, we get to see the phone. Let me see if I can make the phone larger. Because it's quite important to be able to see the details of what's happening here. We get to see the current slide on the left hand side. We get to see the next slide on the right hand side. And if I tap on the phone, it makes the transition to the next slide. One thing that you may have noticed is that at the top, next to the number of the slide that we're on, we see a green light, which is very similar to the green bar that we were seeing on the presenter display on the Mac. In this case, it's not a bar, it's just a little light. So if I tap on the display on the phone, you're going to notice that green light switching to a red square. That means that during the red square, or as long as the red square is visible, then the device is actually rendering a transition or a build on the actual screen. Let me move the screen down to make it larger. Let me see if I can make it bigger so that we can see better. So what we're going to see here is a text appearing just underneath the title of the slide if I tap on the phone. So on the phone, I'm just going to tap anywhere. You see the red square. And then at the end of the transition or at the end of the build, the red square goes back to the green dot. And now that we're here, take a look at that little pencil with a little scribble to the right of the clock. This is very useful. If you tap on it, it zooms into the slide that we're on. And we get these colors at the bottom. This looks like the points of a crayon. You can tap on them and then you can go and draw on the presentation. So when you draw on your iPhone, it appears on the device that it's presenting or that it's having the presentation. Okay, that highlight was kind of weird. So let me type the little undo button, which is that arrow sort of going back. And that just disappears wherever you drew. And pay attention to the one on the far left. This one doesn't look like a pencil or a crayon. Rather, it's kind of like a laser pointer. So take a look on the iPad as I drag around. It doesn't paint anything, it just highlights the red area wherever I'm dragging on my finger on my phone. Tapping the Done button takes us back to a two slide view so that we can see what the upcoming slide would look like if we tap on the screen. And then again, if you tap on the little pencil with a little scribble, you can go into that highlighter mode. It's actually kind of interesting. You can do a number of highlights. For example, let me go and do a few colors just for the sake of drawing something. And if you press the undo arrow, it will just go back in history. You can see things disappearing. Very, very neat presentation tool. Absolutely. And just before I close this presenter display, I'm going to tap on the little settings icon, which is the one in the middle. And here we can have different displays and different layouts. For example, the one at the very bottom shows the current slide with presenter notes. So we can scroll through the presenter notes. And if you see on the right hand side on my iPad, the presenter notes are not being displayed to my audience. So let me tap on that settings icon. You can see there's different kinds of options or different kinds of layouts depending on what you want. The current and next seems to be the more flexible as long as you don't get overwhelmed with all of this information. You can see your current slide as well as what it's going to look like 
once you tap on the screen. And the presenter display and the remote control are really cool. It does take a little bit of practice though because it is quite a bit of information here. I do recommend that you do practice your presentation ahead of time so that when you're doing it, you'll be able to move around the room by controlling the presentation from your phone. I'm going to tap the X button to leave the presentation. And you can see the phone goes back to the big huge play button and the iPad just exits the presentation and shows you Keynote in the normal editing interface.